Hey there, thank you so much for coming back to join me for October's favorites and flops. I have a little roundup of products um, I've been using a ton or did reviews on, and these are my final thoughts on these and whether or not they are a favorite or a flop. So if that sounds interesting, then please keep on watching. Okay, so it is pretty early, that's why the lighting's a little dim. It's not super bright outside. I do like to use a mixture of like, like lighting and natural light. So sorry about the weird lighting, but anyway, let's just go ahead and get started. So um, I just wanna let you know that um, I will not be continuing with my monthly foundation reviews. It's just, I can't really afford to keep buying a foundation every month to try. And also just people don't seem that interested in them. So just FYI. Um, so October's is the last one for a good while, if at all. Um, but it is the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. This stuff is an older foundation, but it is incredible. I love the True Skin Foundation from Catrice, and I obviously tried that first a while ago. I love that stuff. It is an amazing foundation, very skin-like. So I'm like, okay, well, let's go ahead and try the Catrice HD Liquid. This stuff is full coverage, matte, very long-lasting. Um, as long as you don't build too much, it does look very natural on the skin, just more coverage and more matte than the true skin. So I absolutely love both foundations. They're both just different. So the HD liquid coverage, definitely um, more coverage, more matte, um, incredible. It's lovely. So I love this one as well as the true skin. I'll be using this one a ton during fall and winter just because I do like a more matte look during the fall and winter, but this stuff is incredible. It's pretty affordable on Amazon, also Catrice's website. Um, but I absolutely love this stuff. It's great, and I definitely, definitely recommend it if you're looking for a good full coverage, but still skin-like foundation. This is the one to go with. It's beautiful on the skin. Okay, um, moving on to palettes, there was quite a few um, that I used or tried this month, and there was a lot of good ones. So the first one is the Wet n Wild Monday Fills palette. Um, I love this, this is absolutely beautiful. Even though you don't get a ton of product because they're pretty small pans, they're extremely pigmented, very, very soft. I mean, it's, it's a beautiful palette. The mattes, the shimmers, all of them are great. So I absolutely love this palette and I definitely recommend it if you're looking for a good, cooler toned kind of natural looking palette. The Monday Fills ones from Wet n Wild is beautiful. Plus it is slightly scented like coffee and it's a really, really nice palette. So I like it a lot, cute packaging, but the quality of the product is amazing. So definitely, definitely love it and definitely recommend it. Um, another one that I really enjoyed, surprisingly, cause I was kind of expecting not to like it, was the Hocus Pocus palette, uh, the Witching Hour from last year, but they did release it this year. Um, I really, really like this palette. It is a really, really beautiful palette, full-size mirror, but nice mix of neutrals with some pops of color. Once again, pigmentation is stunning with this. Like there's a really beautiful plum, a really nice turquoise. The shimmers are great as well. So I really, really like this palette more than I thought I would. Um, I saw the um, Hocus Pocus 2 palette, and I'm like, oh, that one definitely looks more at my alley. But this one is surprisingly beautiful and easy to use and pigmented, so no complaints. I absolutely love this one. Um, so if you do, sorry, if you do have this one, I'd recommend getting it back out. It's a great little palette, a lot of fun colors, and surprisingly good. So like I said, I was going in not expecting to like it, but I absolutely love it. It's a great palette. Another one that I got to try for the first time in this month was the Hip Dot Witching Hour. Oh, this one is beautiful. I don't know why, but I'm really into like browns and like neutral, natural like eyeshadow shades. I used to be like color only. I, I didn't like wearing kind of natural shades, but I absolutely love this palette. It is beautiful. Once again, surprisingly good pigment. It's, it's a stunning palette. Um, and this is the first time using anything from Hip Dot, but it's absolutely beautiful. Great quality. Shimmers are really nice and metallic, and the mattes are beautiful, blend easily. 
it's these three right here, but really, really beautiful. I believe they're vegan and cruelty. Yeah, so they're vegan, mineral oil free. Um, it's, yeah, it's phthalate free, paraben, like really, really good quality. Um, and even though it's a brand, this is the first thing I've tried from them, I'm very, very pleased with them. And um, if I do find stuff on sale from Hip Dot, I would definitely purchase it just from my experience with the Witchy Worms palette. But beautiful packaging, but it's, once again, the quality of the shadows that surprised me. So absolutely love this one. It is beautiful. Definitely, definitely recommend it if you're looking for a nice warm palette. I think you would really, really like it. Going back to the ColourPop Witching Hour or the Hocus Pocus collection, absolutely loved um, and I've been using still the, um, what are these called? Super Shock Shadows. I can never remember them, but they're absolutely stunning. Great quality, which I do love. Um, I do love the Super Shock Shadows. Why can I not remember what they're called? But they're really, really nice quality. Give a nice kind of shimmer to the eye. Um, I absolutely love these. They are stunning. So if you haven't tried a Super Shock Shadow, I would definitely recommend them. They are beautiful quality and just really, really nice. And then I really, really have been enjoying the uh, um, Fresh Kiss Lip Creams. They're beautiful, pigmented, pretty long lasting, even though they do not dry down. But they're really, really gorgeous on the lips and I'm getting stuff all over my sweater. Oh well, it doesn't matter. But really, really love the Fresh Kiss Lip Creams. They're great, I have quite a few of them. But I really, really have been enjoying the Hocus Pocus ones. They're amazing and I like them a lot. Um, going back to the Monday's Fills palette, I have to talk about the lip kit. This lip kit is stunning. Um, this is very much a my lip shade but better kind of thing, but you get uh, a lip liner and then also a lip gloss. The lip gloss is stunning. It smells so good, like kind of like caramel coffee, and it just really is just a light nude. Very smooth, not sticky, um, but just a really, really nice gloss. I do like um, these types of glosses from Wet n Wild. They have the Coffee Cat ones, which are great. Same formula, um, but I really, really like the lip kit and then the lip oil, which I didn't grab off my desk, which is right by my bed. I've been using that nightly. It's a great lip oil. So the little lip kit from the Wet n Wild Monday Fills palette, the same collection, is beautiful. I love it. So love it, love it, love it. Okay. Um, another thing I got to try new this month was the Too Faced Melted Matte Limited Edition Pumpkin Spice Latte PSL um, Liquid Lipstick. Beautiful, stunning color. Long lasting on the lips. Doesn't get dry or crumbly. Um, it does dry down, but it doesn't dry down to like a super hard, crunchy matte, which I do prefer. Um, I love the packaging. It's so cute. Um, and it has a really good scent. Yeah, I like this one a lot. It is beautiful on the mouth. I think it's like the perfect fall shade. It's just stunning. Definitely, definitely recommend this if you're going to get anything from the collection, which gave you a little bit of a sneak peek into my flops. Um, I definitely recommend the PSL liquid lipstick. It's great. So we love it. Definitely recommend it. It's amazing. Okay, so next in skincare, this is something I haven't been talking about this month, but I've been using it a ton this month. It's the Neutrogena Soothing Clear Turmeric Mist. It refreshes and hydrates stressed, acne-prone skin. Um, I've had this for a little while, and I've been using it on and off, but I've really been using it this month because I've been having a little bit more breakouts due to the like weather changes and everything like that. Um, but I absolutely love this stuff. I actually got it on sale for three bucks, but it doesn't have the best scent. It's very medicinal, but it's very soothing doesn't sting or irritate the skin and I definitely think it has been helping clear some stuff up which is great it adds a nice kind of uh, natural looking radiance there's no shimmer or anything it just helps to moisturize and soothe I totally agree with it so I really really like this stuff even though it doesn't have the best scent I like it a lot it's really really good so I've been using this a ton um, I've also been using you can see actually well this is my youth pure hyaluronic acid um, I got it um, with my um, eye creams and eye gel. I've been using this a ton. I really, really like it. It's a good hyaluronic acid 
Um, it sinks into the skin very, very quickly. It doesn't break me out, which is always an A+. plus. scent-free, so I love this stuff. And then I've also been using a ton of the Radiance Eye Gel. I've been using the Retinol Eye Cream too, but I've been definitely getting more use out of the, um, the eye gel. It's really, really good eye gel um, if you want a light moisture. Sometimes if I use something that's too moisturizing underneath my eyes, I'll get like Mila um, underneath my eyes. And underneath the eyes is the worst place to get bumpy texture because it's really hard to cover seamlessly with concealer and powder. So um, I like that this is lightweight. It gives me enough moisture, but it doesn't cause any kind of weird textural issues underneath my eyes. So the Hyaluronic Acid from Youth and then the Radiance Eye Gel from Youth. I've been getting a ton of use from this month. Absolutely recommend it. It is great. Um, okay, moving on to another makeup product that I haven't been talking a lot about, but I've been using it pretty much every time I do makeup. It's the Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. This is one of my go-to Holy Grail mascaras. It is just so good. It just got a really, really nice kind of hourglass-shaped bristle brush. It's not like that plastic, like rubbery bristles, which I always end up stabbing myself in the eye with. Um, it just gives you a ton of length, a ton of, excuse me, a ton of volume. Love this. It's absolutely my favorite. This is um, the first time I bought the full size. I bought it a while ago from BoxyCharm, but I've gone through three or four of the little travel size ones. It's one of my absolute favorite mascaras, like top two, for sure. The voluminous, like uh, L'Oreal Voluminous, any of the kinds that I've tried is definitely uh, number two, but the uh, Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara is number one. Absolutely love this stuff. Definitely recommend it. It's worth the full size price tag. That's how much I do love it. So love it. Moving on to hair care. We've just got three items. Um, the new, the Tresemme Clean and Replenish 3-in-1, this is the one that was a Canadian um, release. I believe it's being discontinued. This stuff is great. Left my hair really, really clean, shiny, soft. It was easier to brush through, but it is um, cleanses, conditions, and detangles. I love this stuff. Um, I haven't tried, I don't, have I? I don't even know if I've tried a Tresemme product that I didn't like, but I really, really love this. It is amazing. If you can find it, I would definitely recommend it. It is a really, really good shampoo, conditioner, and detangler. So I love it. And uh, it's sad that they are discontinuing this because it's a good product. I hate when they do that, when it's a good product and they discontinue it. Boo. Boo, boo, boo. Okay, next is the Neutrogena Healthy Scalp Clarify and Shine Conditioner. This stuff is amazing. So like I actually used it last night because um, I've been using a lot of dry shampoo and like hairspray and I wanted to use my clarifying shampoo, but I still need to add more. Yeah, it's a big old thing when you're using clarifying shampoo. So I like this a lot. It's a really good conditioner. It adds a lot of moisture to the hair, but it doesn't weigh it down. It's supposed to help remove buildup. It's just a very interesting formula. I like it a lot. It's very moisturizing and it like leaves the hair really, really soft and shiny, but it doesn't add buildup. It's an interesting product and I like it a lot. So Love it. If I can find the shampoo on a good deal, I would definitely purchase it just because of the conditioner. It does have that pink grapefruit smell, so if you're not a fan of that, you probably wouldn't like this, but I like it, so it's fine. But I like this one a lot. And then lastly, um, for my favorites, I have to talk about the April Showers um, little shampoo brush. I love this. I use it at least three or four times a week, even when I'm not washing my hair, I'll still, and I have seriously noticed difference with hair fallout. Um, I don't know if it's just getting a little bit more blood flow there. I don't know if it's like removing excess buildup. I don't know, but I love this thing. It is great for $1.25. Um, I would definitely pick up an extra one just to have in my stash for, because eventually this is gonna have to be replaced even though it's easy to clean and disinfect. I love it though, it is great. So if you're looking for a good shampoo brush for yourself or Maybe you want to like get a good shampoo and conditioner and like it'd make a great gift. Like I said in the video, love this. I definitely recommend it if you're looking for a good shampoo brush. It is amazing. Okay. So onto the flops, unfortunately I have two this, this, not this year. I have two this month and one is the wet and wild Monday fills blush. Um, it looks like a gorgeous blush has a slight, slight scent of coffee, but there's like, let me, there's like no 
pigment to it. I don't know if it's just too close to my skin tone or what, but it is really, really hard to get any kind of color payoff to show up. I built and built and built when I did this video and um, I just couldn't get any color payoff. So it's like it's coming up on the brush. It's just such a, I don't know. I don't know if it's the tone. I don't know if it's the color. I don't know if it's the pigmentation. It just doesn't show up. So unfortunately, it's a flop. Maybe if you have lighter skin than myself, this might be a really good option for you. But for me, it just doesn't show up, unfortunately. So yeah, it's kind of a flop for me. And then a very, very expensive flop, even though I got it for a good deal. It's the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice Second Slice. This isn't a complete flop. It's just not a total winner. Um, I Like I said in the video, I don't mind the cardboard packaging. The smell is gross to me. I hate the scent of it. It's gross. Um, but it's just, yeah, these are things I already have. Um, the quality isn't so much more astounding or better that it like, I, you know, you have to have it. It's pretty, it's, it's, it's good, but it doesn't like blow my mind so much that I'm like, you need to go out and buy this. Uh, no, it is a nice palette. It's just not, it's just something that I don't think everyone needs. It's no better than any of the other palettes I've talked about here, including Wet n Wild. Um, so I, yeah, I wouldn't say that it's out and about like the best thing in the world. It's okay. Um, I was expecting a little more. I was expecting it to smell better. I was expecting it to perform better. I've just realized I'm not a huge fan of the Too Faced, like these kind of palettes. I hated the peach palette. I don't hate this one. It's just, it's not my favorite. I wouldn't purchase next year's eyeshadow palette. I recommend the lipstick, but the eyeshadow palette is just okay. I mean, yeah, just okay. So yeah, unfortunately it was kind of a flop for me. So yeah, um, but there we go. Um, I hope you did enjoy today's video. Um, I'll go in and link the good stuff that I do recommend. It will be in like the little link area, product link area, just for ease of shopping. But um, if you did enjoy today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it. Let me know down below in the comments what were some of your favorites and flops for the month of October. I would love to know down below. And if you did enjoy today's video, you're welcome to follow me, or you're welcome to subscribe to my channel. There we go. I do upload seven days a week all about budget beauty, whether it's home decor, vlogs, hauls, all sorts of stuff. You're also welcome to follow me on my social media. There we go. I have um, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. I'll link them down below for you. And um, I appreciate you coming and hanging out. Um, another video should start autoplaying here in a moment. It might be one of mine. It might be somebody else's. But sit back, relax, and enjoy. And I'll see you here in just a sec.